It was all about the gramophone tonight, but before the Grammys were handed out, it was all about fashion. From bold colors to beads to ball gowns, music's biggest night didn't disappoint when it came to fashion. I thought that this dress seemed uh, the right amount of Vegas. It's got a little <laughs> razzle dazzle to it. St. Vincent wasn't the only star to play into the fact the Grammys were held on the Las Vegas Strip. We sat down with deputy editor of Pop Sugar, Lindsay Miller, for the 411 on what everyone was wearing. This is super glam for the Grammys, although this also feels very on theme for the Vegas show. I think mm. when in Vegas, mm. pile on the sequins. From Tiffany Haddish to Lil Nas X. This is an intricate look. I feel like Lil Nas X always, always busts out something super impressive, super detailed. I can see there's this like butterfly motif that he's embracing. I mean, he looks like like a Disney prince from the future. I think the Grammys are so fun because people really do kind of take risks. It's obviously all of these artists and creators, so it's such a fun night to be a spectator. Embracing the daring moment, Megan the Stallion. This is a really daring, sexy look. This to me is what the Grammys is all about, mm -hmm. owning your personal style. Stars like Carrie Underwood and Chrissy Teigen opted for a more classic look, but it was also about the accessories. The uh, like arm length gloves are having a moment. They tonight, are having they? a big moment. We also saw those on Olivia Rodrigo already. Mm -hmm. I believe we're going to see Halsey soon, and they're also wearing them. Billie Eilish showed up in an all black ensemble, while BTS chose for a more earth tone look. Olivia Rodrigo came classic with a 90s choker. Miller says it's all about being you while making a statement like Japanese breakfast singer Michelle Zauner. It's so buoyant and gorgeous, and she just looks like she's enjoying this moment, which she so deserves.